Hi, we would now be solving some examples on ellipse. Let's begin with item number one. Find the foci, vertices, and the lengths of the major and minor axis for the following ellipse and sketch its graph. Our given is x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. First step is to identify whether we are given a case 1 or a case 2 ellipse. Let's begin with identifying the case. For the case, we just have to look at the denominator of x squared and the denominator of y squared. If we have a denominator uh, Below, what, below x squared, which is greater than y squared, then that means we have case 1 ellipse. Because if you would look at this, yung a nasa ilalim ni x, e alam natin na a is longer than b. So in this case, we have case 1. Ulitin ko ah, to be able to identify whether it's case 1 or case 2, titignan yung denominator ni x squared and ni y squared. Kung yung mas malaking denominator ay nasa ilalim ni x squared, then ibig sabihin that is case 1. Kung ang mas malaking denominator ay nasa ilalim ni y squared, then that becomes case 2. Kung alin ang may mas malaking denominator, siya ang magdedetermine ng case 1 or case 2. Kapag mas malaki yung sa ilalim ni x, case 1. Kapag mas malaki yung sa ilalim ni y squared, case 2. So in this case, we have case 1. Next step is to identify the values of a, b, and c. In identifying the value of a, uh, let's consider that we have case 1. That means na ang A natin would be found here. But the formula says that it is A squared. Therefore, what, uh, what is given here is A squared. A, A lang ang kailangan natin. To be able to find A, what do we have to do? Okay, to be able to find A, we just have to get the square root of the denominator. And in this case, it's the square root of 9. The square root of 9 now is 3. So the value for A is 3. Next step is to identify the value of B. Same as in the case of A, this presented is B squared. To be able to get the value for b alone, we have to get the square root of the given, which is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 here is 2. Next, in identifying the value for c, we have to follow the formula that is given here. We have c is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared. c is equal to the square root of a squared, which is 9, and b squared, which is 4. So, we simplify that square root of 9 minus 4. We'll have the square root of 5. Do we still have, uh, or does 5 have a perfect square? Could we still simplify 5? No, not anymore. So, we will now use this as the value of c. Now we have A, B, and C. We are ready to find the other parts. It says that we have to find the foci. So let's look for the foci. It's pronounced as foci, foci. Yep, case one, the formula for the foci is positive negative C comma zero. So we have the C value square root of five. Substitute that there. So we have positive negative square root of 5, 0. That's it. Next, for the vertices. The vertices would be uh, the formula here. V is positive negative A, 0. Positive negative A, 0. So we substitute the value of A here, which is 3. So we have a positive, negative 3, 0. Next, so we're good for the foci, vertices, lengths of the major and minor axis. 
For the major axis, we have 2a. So we just have to uh, get the value for a and multiply it by 2. So we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6 units. Okay, very good. So we have 6 units. Next, for the minor axis, for the minor axis, we have 2b. So we have 2b and the value of b here is 2. So we have 2 times 2 and you'll get 4 units. And then sketch its graph. But first, let's also look for CV. CV is co-vertices. For the co-vertices, it's 0, positive, negative, B. Substitute the value of B. So we will have 0, positive, negative, 2. That's it. For the graph, I will be using Desmos. And I will share that in a different video. Thank you so much.